Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Well, this is an interesting article from the Economic Collapse blog, and, and I thought I would do uh, a video just about it. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, the Economic Collapse blog.com. Former Reagan administration official is warning of a financial collapse sometime between August and November. If a former Reagan administration official is correct, we are likely to see the next major collapse by the end of 2017. David Stockman is the author, former businessman and U.S. politician, served in the Republican U.S. representative uh, from the state of Michigan and as the director of the Office of Management and Budget under President Ronald Reagan. He has uh, been frequently interviewed by mainstream news outlets such as CNBC, Bloomberg, PBS, PBS <clears throat> and he is a highly respected voice in the financial community. Um, like other analysts, Stockman believes that the U.S. economy is in dire shape. And he told Greg Hunter during a recent interview that he is convinced that the S&P could soon crash by 40% or more. The market is pricing itself for perfection for all of eternity. This is crazy. I think the market could easily drop to 1600 or 1300 It could drop by 40% or even more once, this, once the fantasy ends. When the government shows its true colors that it's headed for a fiscal bloodbath, when this crazy uh, notion that there is going to be some Trump fiscal stimulus is put to rest once and for all. I mean, it's. I mean, it's not going to happen. They can't pass a tax um, uh, that big without a budget resolution that incorporated 10 trillion or 15 trillion in debt over the next decade. It's just not going to pass Congress. Stockman says. I think this is the greatest suckers rally we've ever seen. But even more alarming is what Stockman said about the potential timing of this financial crisis. The S&P is going to drop by hundreds and hundreds of points sometime over the next few months, he says. As we drift into the, uh, this unexpected crisis, I would target sometime between August and November. <clears throat> because that's uh, where the rubber is going to meet the road on the debt ceiling. Um, well, I think the, the debt ceiling, they agreed to continue um, uh, to increase the debt ceiling, I think a trillion dollars. And this goes until September, I think, in the U.S. Um, <clears throat> A debt ceiling increase when they are out of cash. Washington is going to end up in a vicious political uh, conflict. Uh, what to do about the debt ceiling? It's going to be one giant fiscal bloodbath, the likes of which we have never seen. That really got my attention because um, those are the exact months which I portrayed in the beginning of the end, the author um, says here. Without a doubt, the U.S. financial system is living on borrowed time. In 2017, interest on national debt will be more than half a trillion so just the interest on the national debt is half a trillion dollars. For the first time ever, will be higher next year because we are likely to add another trillion dollars to the debt uh, during the fiscal year. Meanwhile, the fin financial markets just keep uh, becoming more absurd with each passing day. And of course, we saw uh, Macron win the uh, the French election. Uh, markets rallied. Markets love that. <clears throat> just look at Tesla, the, the article says. This is a con uh, company that somehow managed to lose $620 million dollars. Uh, that's half a trillion dollars, over half a trillion dollars. During the first quarter of 2017, it has been consistently losing hundreds of million dollars uh, after quarter, quarter after quarter. And yet somehow the market values Tesla at a staggering $48 billion. It's almost as if we we're living in opposite world. Companies like Tesla, Netflix, and Twitter are burning through gigantic mountains of investor cash without ever making a profit, and no one seems to care. The percentage of mortgage-backed uh, security loans in special servicing 6.6 .6 to close April hit 6.6 .6 to close uh, April. Commercial Mortgage Alert reported citing TREP data. The five basis point move higher from March came as a, uh, the past due rate on Fitcher rated commercial mortgage-backed uh, securities climbed by nine uh, basis points to the end. Uh, to the end of April at 3.5%. During the 2008 crisis, um, more regular mortgage-backed securities played a major role, and this time around it looks like uh, securities that are backed by commercial mortgages could cause quite the havoc. So everything's getting set up uh, again for another 2008, and a worse than 2008. In 2007, 2008, a lot of analysts that were loudly warning about mortgage-backed securities, a major stock market crash, and an imminent recession were being mocked. People kept asking then, uh, them what, when the crisis was finally going to arrive, and leaders such as the Federal Reserve Bernanke confidently assured the public that the U.S. economy was not going to experience recession. But of course, we uh, got to the fall of 2008, and all hell broke, Lucy says. Investors suddenly lost trillions of dollars. 
and the U.S. economy plunged into the worst recession since the Great Depression, 1930s, and we're still in that uh, recession. Uh, now we stand poised on the brink of an even worse disaster. The U.S. national debt has almost doubled since the last crisis, and I think uh, Trump is going to probably, if, if it gets that far, he, he's going to double it again in his uh, four years in office. The only thing uh, that has saved us in our ability to go into enormous amounts of debts um, and once the debt bubble finally bursts, it will be the biggest standard living living adjustment uh, that Americans have seen. <clears throat> uh, the whole Federal Reserve thing, printing money out of thin air, that's that's basically what has uh, given us the ability to go into enormous amounts of debt. And, well, not they, they allowed us to go into enormous amounts of debt. It's basically China and other countries that uh, gave us the ability because they're not complaining about the money we're printing or the U.S. is printing. <clears throat> So I don't know if Stockman's timing will be 100% accurate or not, but that is not what is important. What is important is that decades of exceedingly foolish decisions have made the greatest economic crisis in American history inevitable, and when it finally erupts, it's going to uh, finally erupt, uh, erupts. The pain is going to be absolutely off the charts. Uh, and I, again, I think this is the, uh, a good prophetic marker because uh, there's going to be violence. There's going to be wars and rumors of wars. What causes violence and wars and rumors of wars? It's um, when people are lacking, when there's no food, when there's no money, uh, or if we go to war, um, uh, it's a, it's a uh, dec decrease in law and order in general. And I think this is the kind of thing, an economic, complete worldwide economic collapse would be, be the perfect thing, or maybe the only thing uh, that could really push us into a one world government and a mark of the beast system. Uh, you can have wars around here and there, but they don't really affect us. You can have wars in the Middle East, but it doesn't really affect North America. You can have a war in North America, but that doesn't really affect Europe necessarily, not hugely. Uh, but if you have a worldwide economic collapse, um, that would affect the whole world. And uh, you could see leaders being pushed into a corner where um, they have nothing but, uh, no options but to say, you know, let's go into one world government, let's uh, uh, let's go into a new monetary system. And that's what this market of the beast is, it's a new monetary system. And so... Um, I think uh, I think an economic collapse would be the thing that would push us into it. And I think we're about to see it soon. Um, Stockman is suggesting sometime this summer. And, uh, you know, all these guys will freely admit uh, that they thought this uh, was going to occur, uh, you know, last year or the year before. It should have occurred with the amount of debt, the massive amounts of debt that are on the books, the trillions of dollars. Uh, how long can we print money out of thin air? How long uh, does do people have confidence in uh, the fiat currency system when it's when the government has the ability <clears throat> to print money out of thin air, give it to banks for free? Meanwhile, the regular citizens have to actually go out and work nine to five or whatever their hours are, <clears throat> blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, and work for that each dollar themselves. They don't get a printing press. So I I believe the uh, <clears throat> the big movement in the final one world government. And the uh, mark of the beast system is uh, precipitated by uh, this economic collapse, which I think is, is coming sooner than later. And uh, like all of the uh, analysts, um, it should have came much sooner. But we will see what comes with it. So I will leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, and I'm not sure what I'll do uh, for my format, the the morning prophecy update. I like the idea. Um, this morning, maybe I didn't have quite enough time to do that. Uh, but uh, that format ends up being not real searchable, um, although it does get around some <clears throat> uh, some censorship uh, that, that YouTube might want to put on it, especially if I speak of things like war and things, uh, because I don't necessarily uh, say it in the, in the uh, uh, you know the, the title. But I had uh, I had good views on um, the morning prophecy updates to begin with, and. Um, and, and they're going down, and, and so I tried that format. It, to, it looked like at the beginning it, it was, was going to work really well. I was getting lots of people interested in that. Um, but uh, for whatever reason, um, they, they stopped viewing um, the longer uh, morning prophecy things, and, and maybe they just want to see. Maybe they're just looking for a specific subject, and that's fine. So I, I don't know what the, the future of the uh, morning prophecy update will be, the consolidated version. Uh, but definitely these, these one-off videos are at least more searchable. Uh, for other people uh, looking for particular content anyway so 
not sure what I'll do, um, but uh, I'll, I'll continue on anyways. This will probably be the only video for today. Um, I won't uh, have a, a regular um, uh, homestead video today. Uh, I've, I've been busy and I just haven't got uh, a lot of uh, other video stuff done. It's been rainy out. I've not been able to do projects outside. Um, so I need to, need to figure out what I'm going to do on that front as well. Certainly, um, until we get into the summer months, I don't know how much uh, content I'll have for that. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the content of the channel uh, is potentially shifting away. I don't get a lot of views for that homestead stuff. Um, uh, you know, I do get, I do get some views and, and certainly like the how to videos are, are doing quite well. Um, but, um, you know, on the, in the terms of the general channel, it, it may be time to really think about splitting it up and just going to one that's pure prophecy and one that's, um, pure homesteading because I, uh, you know, I think the, the audience is hard to find and hard to keep, um, uh, because the, uh, the, the videos keep changing, even though I was doing a video of each every day uh, but so just some thoughts and some background on uh, where the channel might go I'd be interested to hear your thoughts if you've listened this far congratulations um, no, I'm, I'm sure not a lot of people listen this far in uh, but if if, uh, if you have listened this far in um, be interested to know leave me a comment uh, tell me what you think uh, makes the most sense for my channel uh, are you paying attention to the homestead stuff is it of any use I know there's interest in the the Airstream videos and uh, those sorts of things, and uh, I'll keep going on those those playlists. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, I, whether I will continue with the daily videos or not on that, I don't know. Uh, certainly, this is a a slower time for whatever reason, um, and I haven't had a lot of content to put into it. But um, a, a little bit of a break from that may be good uh, for me, anyways. Um, I need to be doing this channel because I love doing it not for any other particular reason and uh, if I love doing it then I, I don't care about how many views I'm getting um, you know that won't factor in I'll, I'll just be doing it because I you know because I enjoy doing it um, as opposed to being consumed by you know uh, lack of views or who's watching what or, or whatever so let me know what you think and uh, I will leave that uh, leave it there for for today thanks for watching folks we will see you guys in the next video